joining me and I hope you're having a good day. As you can see, we are back in Ultimate General American Revolution and as you can see, I've decided to actually restart once again in the campaign. Uh, mainly because with all the new updates that dropped, and I went over a list of them in the last video, uh, continuing with the campaign while possible was also difficult because of the new way that the AI adjust and reacts to everything that's going on it just began got to the point where it was just a little overwhelming and not very interesting videos uh, a lot of frustration with the way the AI was the new behavior of the AI so I figured with all that that happened with all the new updates we'll go ahead we'll start again from the beginning that way we can more or less anticipate where things will happen when the map opens up again or what will happen when the map opens up again and hopefully we can prepare for it a little bit better um, and yeah and not to mention I want to definitely put a new focus on our Navy that was one of the big things I noticed in the last playthrough we didn't focus enough on we waited too late while we were starting to build up our Navy and beginning to make it a little formidable with our taking of a couple third rates, it still wasn't, it was basically a factor of a little too late. We were so much delayed at the end of that last campaign by, uh, for being able to basically wipe the British out of the northern areas of the map before the campaign expanded, uh, because we kept getting invasions, and well, Hopefully we can avoid that this time around by building a significant navy, putting a very big effort into uh, our navy and hopefully conquering the seas and hopefully making it so invasions are less frequent. Now the ga game is supposed to be less frequent in terms of the invasion, uh, the AI's invasion rate. I haven't noticed a difference. In fact, I feel like they invade more often now. Uh, do naval invasions, but we'll see. We'll see what happens this time around. We are going to continue this playthrough on a normal difficulty, just because I want to basically get a good feeling for the game, and everybody can uh, basically witness everything that's going to happen through the campaigns as we go forward. Maybe when we get to the British campaign, once that drops, maybe we'll go on to a hard ultimate difficulty. Definitely when the game has its full release, we definitely will be playing with the with a harder difficulty, but just so we can get a good grasp of the game and enjoy ourselves through this early access, we are just going to continue playing on normal. So let's go ahead, we're going to begin. Alright, so this is everything we've already seen before, uh, so I'm not going to read all this out. You can read it if you like, if you've never seen this yet. I'm sure you probably have. Uh, so basically we are going to go ahead and start moving all of our forces to attack the British uh, in the southern regions. Uh, and we get some promotions right off the bat here. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh look, Quicksilver Gaming. That's actually somebody I follow. You should definitely follow him as well if you don't already. And we're going to have him march on Newport. I'm splitting them up, basically so the British don't run. And you'll see what uh, happens. Now I am going to go ahead and skip the battle at the beginning. Everybody's seen it. It's the Battle of Concord. It's not uh, that exciting at this point, so we're not. I'm not going to torture you all by putting you third again. We are going to go ahead and get some regiments going here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do Trevor Null. So let's go ahead. We do have some guns we can work with early at the beginning. And I am going to stick with my strategy of putting Minutemen in. I actually really enjoyed that in our last playthrough. And I think it worked out quite well. Not sure whether I'm going to stick with Portsmouth just yet. And I am curious whether I want to raise another regiment or not. I, I do have room for two, so we could potentially just go ahead and start raising another one before we get that some of these new ones coming in and just sort of fill out as best as we can. Go 
go ahead and get some guns going too. I know we don't have enough guns right now, but we can always buy some here in a little bit. So we'll get those two new regiments building. It's going to take them a little bit, but we do fill up that. And when after the Concord, we are going to get some new regiments coming in as well. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Get through this first day. Because after this first day, we're going to have uh, yeah, the Battle of Lexington and Concord. So we're going to play it, but like I said, we'll do that screen that way we don't bore you all it's a pretty easy battle like i said we i'm sure everybody's already seen it before so we'll join this back up after the battle so yeah as expected we are victorious at the battle of lexington and concord we got an additional a thousand rifles and a, a new militia unit so we're just going to go ahead and pause there this unit I do like what they've done to the game as well, and they've made it so units can be upgraded to a full four ranks uh, now. And now also we are going to go ahead and sally forth with our, with our uh, USS Providence here, our six rate. And we're going to be looking for the other six rate that's up here. This should be a clipper and a another six rate up here is usually what it comes in as. Now that that battle's over, though, we are going to have to get these troops moving back into position to attack Providence and Newport. And then we'll just move this new unit down into Leicester for now. Debating on whether I want to try and hold Portsmouth, we were able to hold it in the first playthrough. Uh, and it makes me wonder if I should just go ahead and try and hold it again. Maybe upgrade these guys and get them to a full unit strength. I don't see why not. I probably won't do any artillery in this. But I will go ahead and get them up to full strength. Worst case scenario, if Portsmouth does come, ber come under attack, we can always just disband it if we're paying enough attention. But I do want to try and move my fleet down to the Newport area as soon as possible. Just in case. So we'll go ahead and get playing again. See what happens up here in the north. See Alright, so we get a ship right away. We are and we do get the ship we were looking for. This other six rate. Alright, so hopefully we take this relatively quickly and easily. Uh, we are in a pretty interesting position the wind is going this way and to be able to take it which is what we want we're gonna have to spin this around might see what he does first you're not gonna be fighting into the wind but I think what's we're better off that way. What is he doing? Make sure we're at full mass, I guess. That would obviously help significantly. Alright, we captured him relatively easily. Providence did take some damage, but we should be able to capture him without any issues. Get these guys right back to port. Alright, so no issues there. Alright, so we're going to just go sail right to port. I know this do that cutter out there, but I'd rather try and get them these guys refitted as quickly as possible at Portsmouth, just in case we do have to abandon Portsmouth. And again, we are going to have to get these guys into position. 
take Providence and Newport. So we were able to get them back with no issues. It's only going to take three days to refit them fully. Alright, so gaming is about to attack Providence. Make sure Washington is in range of this attack. He is. So let's go ahead. Hopefully this will be a nice quick battle. Alright, so I don't believe either side has any artillery. Let's make sure we get Washington up here as soon as possible. But yeah, I don't believe either side has any artillery. So let's see how quickly we can take the woods here and get these guys up there. Probably just have all these guys run into position. Get them up on the flank. Should we hold with them as well? I this did decide, by the way, just to go with Washington, not try and make my own character. Or I guess it still was a creative character, it's just I kept the name George Washington. That's interesting that he would take turn his flank to two units. Rather than just have him, have him be flanked by one. Make sure both those guys are targeting him then. charge in with those guys. Fortunately they exhausted pretty easily. Guess you don't really want to run your men too much. It they really did not run very far. They only came from this position up to these positions, and yet they were completely exhausted by the end of it. Fortunately, because they're running, we're not going to be able to get be able to chase them down. Cavalry becomes even more important for this now that they've changed the charge mechanic. But still, we did what we came to do. We forced them out of Providence. Now it would be nice to be able to totally end these guys, although they are just retreating to Newport. Well, and we got uh, let's go with sure. Let's go with melee. All right, all right. It's a battle of Providence. And let's make sure we get Washington up here quick, fast, and in a hurry. Bit more open ground this time. Let's make sure ranks are a little bit closed, more closed up than that. I guess there's just uh, I guess their morale was already suffering, or their condition was suffering already from uh, having to march so far to begin with. 
probably why our morale suffered a bit. Them out to hit him. My left is being a little overwhelmed, but I'm trying to break him as quickly as possible. These guys aren't going to hold much longer, though. If I can break these guys, I can just swing around with these guys on my right flank. That's gonna be the idea, at least. Which is what we just did. So what we'll do is we'll firm up this flank, swing with this guy, come up and hold. Fire maneuver. Especially with these civilian muskets, we definitely need that. Because they definitely aren't as effective at long ranges as, as the brown besses that the British are using. We need to start breaking these British units. This unit forward as well. We'll just fast forward. I don't see any issues with the remainder of this battle, but you never know. Keep pushing forward. Not sure whatever that other British unit went. Oh, 
these guys getting surrounded out there. Battle of it actually is not still in our favor, but it's actually not going as well as one would hope. Especially with this unit now isolated out there. Hopefully we can get these guys up here to help them out. Not in time though. Where's Washington? Broke that unit. British don't seem to be having the ammunition issues that we seem to be having. They are, there's no indicator that they are. That unit down in the south is shattered now. Well, this is did not take the turn I thought it was going to take. Should have held the tree line. This has never happened to me before. It's interesting because Militia was supposed to fight better too. This is actually kind of funny. <laughs> to me, that is. Actually, kind of interested to see if this unit will pull it out. Put them in a hold stance to hopefully make them a little more defensible. Feel like they're about to shatter, unfortunately. And they're holding in there. 
Don't think they're gonna be able to take both these units. And there they go. Well, that was unfortunate. Definitely, I think that's probably the first time that's ever happened to me. But on the on the other hand, the British are took a lot of casualties in that as well. We should just be able to move that force down from Providence to take them out, or even. Um, yeah, we'll just move this force down from Providence. Probably, yeah, it's saying they're just gonna run, so we'll let this play out. Well, that worked out, I guess. We we're able to defeat both of those units. We'll go ahead. Yeah, we don't have the guns to be able to fill this guy up completely, but we'll send this guy to Newport to be able to take Newport for, for us. These guys ready. Almost ready. Should be ready by the end of the day to take... Alright, to take these guys back out to sea. Let's do only the cutter in the area. But we can go ahead and knock it out, probably relatively easily. And we are actually wasting... Uh, actually, let's do Quartermaster first. We'll go ahead and just do that outright. Of course, losing that battle did hurt our reputation. That was silly. Did get hurt our reputation. It doesn't look like, I don't know, it's hard to read. Alright, so we took Providence. That should uh, complete this mission. We have another force, new force over here in Leicester. As soon as the day's over and we get the Quartermaster Report, we'll be able to buy some cannon. It's what we really want. We want to start building up our cannons. They should end momentarily. More British reinforcements. Got the quartermaster's department. Got 10 extra reputation. Newport is captured where we also get the USS obedient. So we're going to start making our way down the coast. With these ships. Lee port. And, yeah, oh. Not sure why it's not letting me pick a move. There we go. Finally let me pick a move. Got that fleet coming in. I'd love to jump on that, but I believe at this point the main British fleet has arrived. So I don't want to do that just yet. So we are going to try and hold Portsmouth. I think we do want to go ahead and start assigning people to that department. We also want to start working on command research. Middleborough is completely open, so let's go ahead and start moving these guys up. I'm pretty sure they're probably going to send some troops down to Middleborough. Alright, so we have engineering department, production infrastructure, recruiting house, all the normal stuff. Got the artillery department we can research, so we'll go ahead and do that really quick as well. We'll get that going. We no longer have any officers though to assign to the chief engineer position. That's annoying. 
still not hitting anybody. We might be. I wonder if we'll be able to get down here without actually running into anybody. That'd be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. But of course, we also can't recruit any, so we're going to have to wait for that the officer recruitment to come up. Pretty sure as soon as this inv invasion fleet lands, it's going to go right towards Middleborough. Surprisingly, I haven't hit a single ship on, on our move down here to the south. Newport's not really the greatest uh, dockyard, but when we get, uh, what is it, Hartford? No, it's not Hartford. That's down there. It's, uh... Oh, God, what is the town that's down there? Now I can't remember. But whatever that town that is that unlocks... God, why am I blanking on it? I don't know. Fortunately, we still can't... <laughs> we have unlocked all these positions, but we can't actually research anything just yet because we don't have enough officers. So what we'll do... Something I did last time, and I think it worked out for us. We're going to do Sons of Liberty... We are going to go ahead and spend the reputation to immediately complete it. Let's see what they're doing up there. We'll send Washington up. I need to pull Burn back. Uh, I will. And one thing I just realized we could be doing, said I would be doing. Starting to get ahead of myself here. Can we not even create guns? Let me guess. Because I don't have anybody. Yeah, I don't have a chief engineer. So weird. Maybe if I just... I select somebody else for my quartermaster. Which should give me at least a chief engineer. So let's go ahead and get our factories going. Of course. We'll do Engineers of the Revolution. I wonder why the Quartermaster you can pick. I guess it's because the Quartermaster, they come from the Navy. That would make sense. I assume that's why that's the way it is. Okay, so now we should be able to start production on some civilian muskets. But also, I think I do want us to get going on some cannons as well. We'll sign... Yeah, I think that'll work. 40 per day for civilian muskets. Actually, let's also make sure we are doing some ammunition. One per day, 20 per day. Until we can unlock some more factories, I think that'll work. And then we're also going to go to the market and make sure we get some more cannons. So let's go ahead. Let's buy five of the gallopers and we'll, or the four pounders and we'll buy ten of the three pound gallopers for now. And then we'll come over to these units and make sure they each have an a uh, artillery piece here. There we go. I might be able to sneak into Middleborough, our fleet still hasn't come across anybody, but there is a ship, an 18 gun, so there's a brig here that we could possibly capture. So we should be able to take Middleborough, no problem, uncontested by the looks of it. Oh, we haven't advanced a day yet. So, we'll get down to port. Looks like they are starting to move some troops down, but we should be able to take Middleborough before that happens.
We'll see if they send them back. More than likely they will once they take... Yeah. Now we're taking Middleborough and moving back. Alright, so we made it to Newport with no issues. So we will... They don't have to rest like troops do. So we still don't have the ability to do anything. In terms of getting some officers. So that's unfortunate that we got the artillery chief and we can't even fill that spot. We could delete a army unit, but I don't really want to do that. Not yet at least. Might be something we look forward to in the future. So we do have this brig out here. Let's go ahead and search for it and try and take that brig. Expand our navy while we can. What do we have down here? Can't even click on that yet. I guess not until it expands. Not sure why. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead. We're going to try and take this unicorn. It should be relatively easily. Alright, so. Going in. This is a brig, so what we're going to do is we're going to move to chain shot first. And that way we could try and slow this guy down. Because he is going to move faster than my two six rates. Not sure what he's doing. Of course, he's trying to go into the wind at the moment. So, what I might be able to do actually. I don't even think I'm gonna need. Oh, we are gonna. Yeah, he got away from us last second. Maybe. Maybe not. Ah, we were able to capture him pretty easily. A lot of times those smaller ships can actually get away from you and you have to destroy their sails just to be able to catch them. We had no problem. Alright, so that was a pretty easy win, so we'll go right back to port. I don't think... No, there's no more ships here, so we'll go back to port. Some of these ships are going to have to heal up a little. And yeah, so let's go through. We have a few things we got to do. So we got to get production infrastructure going in Hartford. So let's go to this screen here. So we are going to want to start preparing for the winter. Now these are the two provinces I don't think I'm going to lose. So we are going to go ahead and build immediately in those two provinces. Some of our, uh, hopefully getting our grain up. Because we definitely want to try and stockpile as much as we can right now. Now the other thing I want to take a look at is possibility of adding another factory as well. But we might want to do that a little down the line. We, it's going to take a couple months anyway for some of this stuff to get done. We are we are building everything. Now did we... Because we got that prop now, we don't have the ability to build another factory just because we got Middleborough. There is no factory over there. Although, I'm not. I, I could go ahead and just build a factory here. I don't know if I want to. Just because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold that right now. So I think we're going to stay away from that. Now, we are going to go ahead. We're going to make sure we have the mining doctrine going on all these. Just so we can uh, sell the goods if needed. Still no ability to get men, huh? That's unfortunate. Maybe if we advance a day. Yeah, more Patriots recruited. Where were they recruited? Back at Hartford, yeah. I do like that they have allowed us to be able to build guns now. 
or filling up this fourth slot. Um, can't we? Wait. We have continentals up here? Where am I? What, which army was I looking at? Am I seeing that? Showing it as a militia unit, but it's also showing these guys as fusiliers. That's interesting. Not sure what's going on there. Let's go ahead and give them four pounders though. That I bought. We also have so all these militia units have four pounders or uh, sorry cannon in general not four pounders we are gonna have to buy another three pounder be able to fill out unit out completely Alright, and did we advance today? I think we did, yeah. And we still haven't been able to access any more officers. I feel like I almost need to disband one of these units just so I can get an officer in that artillery position. But I feel like we're just wasting it at this point. Maybe if we get another unit that pops in, we'll do that. Because, yeah, it's becoming a little frustrating that we can't seem to get that officer recruitment pool going on. There's no warships. There are no warships in this region as well. No warships. No warships. No warships. But 16 in, around Boston, that's not something we're going to be going after right now. Especially since they're moving in one big group. 450 guns so our measly what do we have 90 guns we're not even completely crewed yet more Pennsylvania militia we got the uh, mission to complete 100 muskets I just remembered we forgot about the recruiting house in Hartford that's what we were supposed to be doing so let's get the recruiting house going. Let's also start building. Well, these guys are still re rebuilding everything, but as soon as they're done, I think we are going to want to start immediately building some schoolhouses in some of these provident provinces. Oh, wrong one. Because we know we're going to need officers later on. Thankfully it's not going to take too long. And like I said, hopefully Newport can finish up rebuilding everything. Here shortly. Which, New Hampshire... Yeah, might as well. Not gonna hurt us too much at this point. Any yes, finally. That's what we wanted. Thank you. We need officers badly. Let's go ahead and refill some copper as well. We won't use any points for that. But we are trying to build our own cannons this time around, unlike our last playthrough. So we need to be able to make sure we keep our copper in stock. What are all of our resources looking at? Yeah, we only have one right now. And because yeah, I really want would love to try and stay away from buying Galloper guns, especially now that we can actually outfit new units. We actually have quite a bit of soldiers, not enough to be able to take Boston, although that's not what I'm worried about right now. I'm honestly not. My plan for this playthrough, this is actually probably where we're going to stop for today. Hopefully, they, the British start sending out some ships so we can, yeah, St. George Bay finally has some ships. So they did break up their, their fleet a little. But yeah, we are going to stop for today 
at this point, I think this is a good place for us to hold off for a little while and move on to the next episode. But yeah, we have, uh, let's see, we have a little over 3,000 troops, about 3,500 troops, not quite nearly enough to take Boston. But like I said, that's not really what we're planning on doing. My plan is to eventually just head west, go up through Canada, come down, and then attack Boston. Boston will probably be the last thing I try and take, to be perfectly honest with you. So basically, the units I'm sort of raising here and in Hartford right now, I'll leave these troops around Boston to sort of hold, hold the area around Boston. But I think I'm going to send all these troops west and head up north and use my fleet to, to guard our any, against any invasions in this area is the plan as long as we can get some British warships to actually come this way. Like I said, I think that major unit is now in St. George Bay, so there's no point sending them up because there's a question mark where this is, but they, they have two ships. So that big unit, I think it was like 16 ships, it's... It might have split up, but more than likely it's here. They're, hopefully they're all splitting up and it's being sent south. So we can start picking them off. That's the plan, at least. So yeah, that's the plan at the moment. We're going to try and keep episodes a little bit shorter in this playthrough. As opposed to the last playthrough. Because I know some of those went quite long, well over an hour. We're going to try and keep these episodes to under an hour when we can. So, thank you all for watching. And, yeah, going forward, new playthrough, new start. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than the last one. Not that the last one went bad, but I want this to be a bit of a, bit of a more of a cakewalk than uh, my last playthrough. So, yeah, thank you all for watching. And as always, well, bye.